What's up guys, Nate from Famous Racing Customs here. i um, doing a little update on my uh, Project Cranky Head and um, my Fiat Dragster. Um, so, not, not a big update, not a huge update, but an update nonetheless um, so just go ahead and get into it um, so there's where I'm at on the Fiat Dragster um, so yeah I got that all taken care of um, that's frame sitting level up oh and the engine just popped out of it and I think that'll be okay for now so that doesn't need to be in there but um, yeah so that'll be it and the body will look like you have a rake to it um, what I had to do to the body was um, add in this little piece of styrene down here underneath the window um, that actually rests on top in between right here on the uh, roll cage um, so the body will sit on there without really any issues um, as you can see I went ahead and stretched um, I'm gonna have to add in another piece of bar probably right here <laughs> just to give it some you know make it look like it has some added strength um, maybe maybe not I don't know um, but I do have to put in a bar right here to fill that in and um, I'm going to end up cutting off these two ends here <clears throat> that way um, it doesn't stick out the back anymore but uh, from what I think I measured everything pretty well correctly so the wheels will be centered the gap will be a little bit off, but I'm okay with the gap, so, um, yeah, uh, here's the start of the Hemi engine with the, uh, scatter shield, um, I am gonna have to build a custom, uh, firewall, firewall and, uh, floor pan for it, because this was designed... Uh, the way the model was designed was this was supposed to sit on the other chassis and uh, it already has a floor pan and everything in it so um, I'm going to have to put in my own floor pan <clears throat> not a big deal oh, sorry guys I've been sick the last couple days and um, kind of throat's just real scratchy and dry so that's that one <clears throat> And, and project cranky head as you can see is wired um, the wires look a bit shiny but um, basically what I used was um, I don't think I have any more of it um, but it's like a, a clear vinyl type, you know, made for beading. It's not really wire, It's but it's not thread. It's like vinyl, so kind of matches the spark plug. Um, I probably should have did them black instead of red, but I like the red wires. Um, I got my magneto on, and uh, as you can see, it looks like they all go in and through well the magneto on the on this kit um, like I said before I was gonna rob one because I'm only using two engines but it comes in two pieces and both the the cap and the body have notches in them so um, basically all I did was is I measured out what I needed these are all one solid piece all I used four solid pieces and then I just tied them in the middle and uh, shoved it down in the hole and capped it. So there's that. Um, still got some work to do. 
hopefully tomorrow's, um, I mean, it's been getting colder, but, you know, uh, a few days ago, it was pretty warm, so hopefully, uh, excuse me, um, hopefully tomorrow we'll have some decent weather, and I'll be able to, uh, be able to throw down some paint, so, um, so yeah, that's about it, guys, uh, short, 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 um, Thank you to all my subscribers um, for subscribing. Um, I'll probably be saying that all the time. So, just get used to it. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, keep doing what you guys are doing out there. Uh, I like seeing seeing the, the new projects coming out. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for me. Uh, this is Nate, Famous Racing Customs, signing off.